Hello, my name is Christopher Gillen. I make knives, and in this video, we're going to give a review of the razor sharp edge making system. It's very fast. So, this is the uh, razor sharp edge making system, and I got this from Tracy Mickley's company, uh, Midwest Knife Maker Supply. They have a nice little catalog, it charges some money, it's a good supplier. So what do you get with this knife sharpening system? You basically get two cardboard wheels. One is slotted, that's your strop, and you use white rouge with it. Uh, the other one is a silicon carbide wheel with 180 grit silicon carbide on it, and you're supposed to use wax with it to keep it cool. Uh, this is a great system. It is fast. If you have a lot of knives to sharpen, uh, this is a very fast way to get it done. Let's head over to the buffer. I'll give you some safety tips, and then we'll do a quick demonstration. Uh, a few words of safety before we begin. The buffer is one of the more dangerous tools a knife maker uses. So you want to stay below center of the axis of your wheel. So as this thing rotates, if it was to grab your knife, it would throw the knife away from you. Don't be up here where it throw the knife into your belly. That It can kill you and knife makers have been killed with buffers. Of course you want to wear PPE, uh, have a lot of ventilation, wear a respirator. Take off any kind of jewelry. Beware of your hoodie strings. Don't wear gloves with this machine. It can pull your fingers off. So as we sharpen this knife, we want to make sure that the cutting edge goes with the direction of the buffing wheel. Don't turn the edge into the buffing wheel. That'll hurt you. So we want to make sure that the cutting edge goes with the direction, staying below center of the axis. And before we begin sharpening, we want to make sure that the wheel is true that there's no wobble in it. You want to keep these wheels dry. Don't let them get wet or they'll expand on you and get out of balance. If the wheel needs reconditioned, you can use a bastard file. Just wrap some sandpaper on there and it'll knock the high spots off. This yellow stuff is uh, conditioning wax. We're very briefly going to just put it on the wheel, turn it by hand before we begin sharpening. Not much, just enough to where you can see some streaks of wax. And this here um, is 90 degrees. This is 45. We want to try to go somewhere about 20 to 22. As we sharpen this, swipe it three, four times. Then we're done with the silicon carbide and we'll go to the slotted wheel. Um, the silicon carbide wheel is very aggressive. It is incredibly aggressive. It does take some practice. And it is an eye-hand coordination skill. It's an acquired skill. And it's that fast. So following the silicon carbide wheel, on the left hand side of my buffer, I have the 10 inch cardboard strop. The, sl uh, the strop is the one with the slots in it. And with that wheel, we're going to use white rouge. Don't forget to turn on your ventilation. So this system is very aggressive, it's very fast, uh, my buffer's not quite up to speed. You're supposed to have a 3000 RPM buffer, mine's 1800. Uh, having said that, it is an amazingly fast system. It'll reprofile a broken off tip. 
So this works with scissors. It will work with serrated edges as long as you're sharpened on one side. Any kind of axe, chisel, you name it, you can sharpen it using this system. It is a good system. It is a very fast system. Having said that, it's now something that I use very often. It's not my preferred method to sharpen knives. This stuff right here is silicon carbide. It's 180 grit. Uh, there's enough grit to recoat the wheel 15 to 20 times. That's what this silicon carbide is for. You have to use Elmer's glue and basically strip down the wheel to the bare paper and then reapply the grit. This is part of the reason why I don't like this system. Uh, I think this is really bad for your lungs and bad for your machinery. I don't know if you noticed, but my buffer is right next to my surface grinder. And I'm afraid this will damage the ways. Having said that, um, it is a good system, but I prefer the leather stropping wheel. I've made a video on that. And I'll provide a link in here to that video. I just prefer the leather wheel over this cardboard strop. Having said all that, it is a good system and it is amazingly fast. Thanks for watching. I appreciate six minutes of your time and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.